hello YouTube back again with another video this is gonna be a custom duel but I'm gonna be showcasing you my Astro archetype which obviously you're aware if you guys are aware if you watch Excel it is a Xyz summoning um, archetype so obviously by you could tell I'm gonna be activating Astro World to search for Astro World monster from my deck to my hand and the card I'll be searching for is Astro Cooper They'll normal summon it and then use effect to buy discarding one card, banishing itself, to special summon up to two Astro Monsters from my deck to the field. First I'll chain with Vigil and then chain link two using Leech's effect, special summoning Pathwalker from my grave, and then afterwards searching using Vigil's effect from my deck to my hand. Which is no, none other than an Astral card. And along to go with it, I'm just supposed to summon using Pathwalker's effect. I'm just supposed to summon Astro Arimon from my hand to the field. Arimon, when it's normal, supposed to summon, treats itself as a two monsters for the Xyz summon of a light or dark Xyz monster. Let's fast forward here. So I'm going to go into my rank two, number four Astro Utopic Thunder. Use the field spec, field spells effect to change the levels from four to six. And I go into Astro Stormbinder and end my turn after setting uh, two cards. My opponent sets three, yeah, no, he sets two, activating Zap Candy, and I'll chain using Utopic Thunder's effect. And thanks to its effect, because the card negated was a spell, I get to draw a card. And it's pretty much going to be a game for my opponent. As you see, I'm going to activate Astro Reborn to special summon a monster from my grave, but it returns to my hand till the uh, end phase. Pathwalker's effect will activate again, but summoning Ariman from my hand. And the same thing, treats itself as a as two monsters for the XC summon of light or dark XC monster. And I'll use Astral's effect to change their length levels, but I can only special summon light or dark uh, monsters from my extra deck. So from here on out, I go into Astral Dark Oblivion. I'm going to go into the, the main phase to use his effect, but from here on out, my opponent's going to scoop because he realized at this point it just isn't enough. But looking at his hand, he pretty much cannot summon anything. And I do apologize for the tough duel. And I do appreciate that he was willing to um, go along with it, that he, he was going to accept defeat regardless and be able to honor this duel. And he even says he needs, I even told him, I was willing to encourage him. He does admit that he needs to improve some of his cards. And he needs to make better cards for this deck to be viable, which is very true, which I've been trying very hard as well. I'm putting a lot of time and effort in doing so, which he needs to do, which isn't really me criticizing him, but it does take some time. But at the same time, is when you do create custom cards, that you don't try not to overdo it. And try to make them synergize with each other for them to be compatible, for them to be even viable. So at the same time, you have to make sure it's a fair game stage as well, so that both players don't get confused with the fact, and you know where you, where you how to read the the card effect, and you don't contradict what the card says. So that way, it'd be better when you explain to your opponent when activating their effects. But pretty much that's all I have to say. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the duel. Be sure to check for more upcoming content in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.